All right, good morning, guys. It's the 509 trucker here. So we got the truck all checked out. Everything's good on that. It's been warming up. So what we're gonna do today is uh, that load right here is going to be delivered tomorrow. And so today we're gonna go ahead and hook up to this load of pallets and take this down to Wenatchee, or up to Wenatchee, I should say. All right, guys, we're making our way to Orondo to deliver these pallets. guys we're pulling in looks like they got a truck in my spot already so we'll go ahead and just pull off to the side over here just stay out of the way all right well we made it and it doesn't look like we lost any pallets <laughs> so that is good Alright guys, we're offloaded, got all the pallets off. I was uh, having some trouble because they wanted me 
in one spot and then the forklift guy wanted me in another spot but we got to figure it out now i know what to do every time i come here so kind of uh made it seem like i was going to have no room to get around this building but we found the little trick so we're all offloaded i'm actually gonna go have lunch with my cousin right now so just park the truck here go get some lunch we'll come back and head back to the shop so stay tuned this is good old warden warden washington this is where i was uh raised where i graduated high school it's where my family lives all my you know old friends and everything like that some of them still live here most of them kind of moved out went to different towns so, uh yeah guys if you're ever in warden go ahead and check out casita de cafe owned by the reyeses here in town good people great drinks go check them out if we're ever here on the load in warden let them know the 509 trucker sent them so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll probably drop this on the other side, I'm guessing. Or maybe I can drop them right here in the field. We'll go ahead and drop them in the field just so they're out of the way. Drop them next to that potato trailer. Let's go drop these trailers. You guys see that truck right there? It's my dad's badass Peterbilt. Just had an overhaul. Got totaled. R.I.P. I think they're coming to take that pretty soon here, actually. So we got that. Let's go ahead and pull this. I always like to pull the uh, fifth wheel first and then drop my landing gear. And sometimes when you drop the landing gear first and then you go to pull the, the, the kingpin, it's just got so much pressure on it that it won't release. So, after having that happen a lot of times, I decided, why don't I just pull that thing first, drop the landing gear, and then pull my, my uh, airlines. So, another thing I like to do as a trick, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, once you start hearing the airbag, building a little bit more air because it's going up that's when I know that it's clearing the the fifth wheel so you can kind of see I don't know if you could see it that well there's a tiny little gap in there so that tells me okay most of the pressure is off of the truck now uh oh you see that slid back in that's another thing to look out for as it starts adjusting the truck will move it'll move a little bit back or forward so let's go ahead and pull this again. Okay. So uh, just be aware of that. Take these off. Okay. Always good to have one of these little stowaway things because even if you bungee these down, they can come loose. The last thing you want to do is get one of these caught up in your drive line. Yank it off, dump all your air. Also, uh, DOT guys don't like bungee cords to secure things. So, let's go ahead and pull forward. Come up just a little bit. What I like to do, just to be extra safe, I'll pull forward a couple feet so that my fifth wheel is still underneath the trailer and then I'll drop the air suspension, get out and look. Look at that. So you know for sure, look, it's already dropped down, but if it fails, if it fails, then this thing my uh, landing gear fail it's gonna land on my fifth wheel it's still on the truck I can still save it and then get those replaced you know but if I pull forward just straight out if I just go take off and for whatever reason my landing gear fails 
especially when it's loaded, um, then, you know, this thing's just going to crash down to the ground, you know, versus, uh, like I say, if you do that trick, pull forward, drop the airbags, make sure it sets, and then you're good. Um, that way, even if it does fail, it'll fail right there and it'll be right on top of your fifth wheel. So just my little word of advice on that. So let's go ahead and go talk to the mechanic and uh, yeah, we'll head home. We'll check back in, stay tuned. All right, let's see what we do here. Man, that is low. I mean, it seems like it is right there. And if I pull up and move over a little bit more. I'm sure I'm gonna have plenty of people roasting me about this, but uh, hey, <laughs> that was stupid, but uh, we made it through it. dumb enough to get in the mess you got to be smart enough to get out of it all right let's hook up our airlines see if i can pull it out of this crap right here fix my freaking gravel We'll get a new uh, board. All right, so we got some more air built up. I got these things locked. Let's try to go a little bit backwards. All right. Let's pull this forward out of this freaking mud. We'll just kind of park over here. A little more dry over here. All right, guys. So there's another day in the books. We got that load of pallets delivered today. Um, we dropped off those trailers at the shop. Had lunch with my cousin Scott. Pretty good lunch. Um, came back, had a problem, as you guys saw. Uh, figured that out. Started digging. There you go. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna call it a day. Last thing to do is to take this uh, and go send an invoice for this load that we just did. If you're 
you're gonna do the load, you gotta make sure you invoice correctly so you get paid. That's like another another part of the story is just to get paid, you know? Um, and I'm not really the guy to ask too much about that. It's mostly my wife, so I'll give Laura all the credit for that. Um, shout out to everybody and their spouses that help us all stay trucking because what we're good at is driving the truck and doing these loads and stuff like that. What I'm not good at is getting on the computer and billing and taxes and all the kinds of stuff. So just so you guys know, there is like a whole other side of this business that has to do with permits and taxes and all kinds of random things that uh, the government wants their money pretty much is what it comes down to. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend that the 509 Trucker is out here grinding gears and uh, delivering loads, you know? So until we see you guys again, I'm out.